Hey, how's it going? So I uh, thought I'd show you a little bit around my Minecraft world uh, using video to sh show you what I got. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. So here's my, um, here's where it all started. Although when I first got uh, started with this, I wasn't uh, in this happy little um, uh, glass cage to start with. I just spawned randomly. So when I first spawned, I had to basically run around and I was like running with the chicken with its head cut off. I had monsters coming at me and I was like, I need safety. So I ran up here and I built a tiny little mud hut. Now it didn't have these stairs back then, of course, but as you can see, the mud hut has grown considerably since then. Um, and this is my cabin area. So let's go inside and take a look. This first room is the actual place where I first had my, um, home. Uh, the back wall used to be about right here where this uh, wall is here and it's stretched up here. The back ceiling over in this corner used to be a little uh, skylight um, made of mud so that I could actually see up to the sky. This was before I knew how to use torches. I was deliberately keeping myself, um, well quite literally, in the dark about some things because I wanted to learn how to uh, play the game um, kind of on my own and piece by piece because it created more of an interesting experience trying to figure things out with less to work with. So anyways, um, this room's kind of stripped down now, but it used to be pretty intense. Um, I built a uh, mine shaft off my house there that leads down to some interesting areas. This is my living room. It's bookshelves and fireplace. You can also get out to the front porch on here. Very simple front porch, nothing special little painting of the uh, creepers. Sorry about the lag. Let me see if I can fix that lag real quick. Okay. Yeah, it seems much better. So this is my loft. Um, from the loft, you can either get roof access which is where you can go to like see the roof, watch the sunset, all that kind of cool stuff. I love the new effects in 1.2. But the other thing you can do in the loft, no, I don't like that there. I'm gonna take it out. <laughs> I keep modifying my houses as I go along, you know? It's coming into my greenhouse. Now my greenhouse is an actual Honest to goodness, greenhouse. It's actually got, um, you know, plants and everything you can possibly want here. So I'm not going to do it now. The whole place is irrigated too. This water pool here actually flows underneath everything uh, in the room. So you get everything in here is getting constant water supply and it's just great. Out here I'm actually doing a little bit of uh, gardening as well. This isn't as secure because it's out in the uh, open, but I'm growing a couple things and uh, this is really pretty waterfall that flows over the edge. <laughs> so my cabin's pretty simple. Um, it's just something I kind of threw together uh, with my first uh, first adventures. Now what's awesome is what I built next. And I mean the, the ca cabins I built weren't that interesting really. I mean it was just the caverns. What I built next was my castle and eventually I came back here with a subway. So there's the subway system. You step on this button and a car appears. You jump in the car and away we go. And this is pretty hands off and for a little while. Um, I haven't put in like stoppers or anything yet. So it, it's not an entirely safe system, but it works well enough. I put in the lava there just to make it look cool as you fly through.
Uh, most of these rooms that you're going through are actually uh, natural caverns, although I did uh, tear up some of them. There's uh, also, to get bearings, you'll notice there's several uh, surface access tunnels. And here we are coming in the castle's subway room.